Hello and welcome to Wildlife Camp. Carrying on from where we left off last week with the elephants, having not had them for so long, they piled in and camped out at the waterhole for most of the morning up until the early afternoon and we haven't seen them since. But this little one was having the best day of its life. The waterhole had been getting a little bit murky, so I had been hoping that we would get successive herds of elephants coming in just to churn it up and clear it out. And you can see they've dropped it to less than half, so that's just what was needed. Mother and Teenage Shops Grace Book. No sign of the female Sternbok, but the male came back for another drink.
a rare visit from a waterback. Then another unexpected lion visit. This time it was the four ways pride plus three young males. Now I don't know which three young males they are because about two years ago, within a few months of each other, two litters were born of four cubs each and each litter had three young males and at this age it's impossible to tell which one's which. And now they're semi-independent. They haven't been kicked out of the area because there aren't any mature males here so they're just kind of hanging around joining the rest of the pride every now and again. We did see the pride, the main group that had been crossing over the river. We saw them on Saturday and they were on the other side of the river. So it does seem that they are going back and forth across. So I just hope that they're on the side they want to be when the rains start. The bigger male at the back is the big young male, the one that's normally with the four ways pride. I should give him a name, but I know that if I do, we'll never see him again. Now, he wasn't with them last week. I think it was a younger one that was with the group last week. No doubt after they'd all been feeding on a big kill, they just kind of split off into their own different groups and he probably stayed behind with the kill. But he is he's pretty much fully grown. And his mane is getting very big and it'll just get darker now over time and slightly thicker.
A lovely peaceful scene. We get this pair of crows quite often at certain times of year. We haven't had them for quite a few months, so this is the first time we've seen them since, I think, last summer. Just the one honey badger this time, but I suspect that the other one was around somewhere. They're quite often seen together. And a mom porcupine with her two teenage kids. We had about one and a half millimeters of rain. Better than nothing, but not much. The rain isn't particularly late this year. It's usually around late September, October, even November. It's just that our rains ended very early this year, so it's been quite a long dry spell. Thanks for watching.